right, Cancer. Let's see what the energy is here for you for the month of November. What can you share with Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? Okay, so keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the effort you're guided to take. Nice. And you have here playfulness. And that says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right. So cancer. I feel like there's a soulmate here. There's a soulmate here. I feel like you're going to be um, engaging with, going out with, um, this could be somebody who's very attracted to your energy, right? If you're in that energy right now of, of doing what's good for you, what's best for you. I do feel like um, some of you, I feel here, this could be somebody who, uh, somebody new you're attracting into your life or someone maybe you're already talking with. This could be somebody that you already know, but there's something different about this person. There's something different about this person or the situation, and that's why they're telling you to keep an open mind. So we're going to pull uh, some tarot cards here. I'm actually using the Moon Garden deck. I haven't used this deck in a long time. I actually bought it in New Orleans uh, when I went on vacation there a few years ago. So let's pull the energy here for you, Cancer, for November. What does Cancer need to know? Wow, all right. Okay, very nice energy here, Cancer. Okay. I do feel though, um, right, we have this keep an open mind. You definitely need to keep an open mind about this situation because the first two cards that I'm seeing here is the tower and we have the seven of staffs, all right? So I feel like, Cancer, um, that maybe something happened in your situation with someone or I feel like this is just a situation that maybe you didn't expect to happen. So I'm going to say, you know, an example here, right? Maybe you meet this new person and you weren't expecting to meet somebody here, but there's for some reason with the seven of wands, there is some sort of challenge I feel here. Like you may feel like there is some sort of challenge or you're not too sure if this situation is going to be a stable situation. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. Now you have the sun card here. And you also have the Seven of Cups. And what I see here is that I feel there is definitely potential here in this situation. Potential for happiness, peace, joy. Could be dealing with a Leo, very strong Leo energy there. Or you may have Leo in your chart. But you got the Seven of Cups here as well. And I feel like there's going to be some choices, some options. But it also can, I feel here, be a message to you to maybe just kind of envision the possibilities, right? Maybe you're feeling like you're not too sure if this could be a stable situation or not. Um, but what I'm going to say here, the progression here is showing me you have the Hierophant and you have the Ace of Swords, strong Taurus energy. I'm going to tell you, there is definitely... Um, an opportunity for you and this person to be something more, uh, I'm just going to say, than friends or casual acquaintances or wherever it's at. Because I see a relationship here. I see a couple here with the Hierophant. Now look at this. You have the Ace of Swords here. And what I'm going to say with this Ace of Swords, um, there's definitely potential. Again, I'm seeing potential. I'm seeing a fresh start. I'm seeing clarity here. I feel like whatever your situation is, I feel like this is somebody I feel who is going to be, I, I, get, a, I get an energy here as someone who's going to be clear around where this is going. And some of you, it's a new start, a new beginning, could be a new person in your life. And you also have here, I have these reverse here. So I feel like with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords here, you may be questioning this, 
right? Or, um, you know, you're dreaming about the possibilities here in the situation and you got the King of Cups. So I feel like there is feelings here. I feel like this is someone, look at that, you got the Ten of Pentacles here as well. I feel like this is a situation that maybe you're not feeling is really stable or you're seeing challenges in the situation, but really I feel here, Cancer, this is something that could go to something long term. And I feel like um, because you also have here make the effort, I feel like somebody here is coming towards you wanting to make the effort. Um, now I'm going to say in the beginning of this situation with the tower and the seven of wands here, maybe it hasn't been stable or you've been feeling it hasn't been stable, but I see somebody coming towards you. Now, like I said, it could be um, a new person coming into your life as well and, you know, unexpectedly here and you're not too sure about this situation. But let's, uh, I'm going to pull one card, a clarifier for each one, the Tower and the Seven of Staffs. Let's get a card for that. Okay, yeah, look at that, Two of Swords. So I feel like you're very indecisive about this situation, right? Whether somebody here is going to make the effort um, and whether, right, things are really, truly, I'm um, going to say here, relationship material, right, or something stable. Let's get a clarify for the Sun card. Sun card and the Seven of Cups. Look at that. The wheel. Yes. I feel like this is something that could lead to something really nice here. Really happy here. Okay. I feel too with the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. It's saying here that if you've been having some confusion or you've been having rights, you know, you're not too sure if you're making a good choice or not. I feel like what Spirit is saying here is that that's going to go away, all right, because I see here clarity. So it may be clarity through conversation you have with this person, maybe clarity through their actions. I feel here, Cancer, that there's something here that's about to change. It's bringing a new cycle for you. Let's see uh, why the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords is here, please. Okay. So the Four of Swords there. So taking time to yourself, gaining clarity. Let's pull another card. Oh, look at that. The Tower again. So you're thinking about that Tower. I feel like, Cancer, you're thinking about what could go wrong. <laughs> is the energy that I'm getting here. Let's pull another card. But look at that. You got the Two of Cups. I'm going to pull another card. What else can you show, Cancer? Look at that. The King of Cups showed up again. All right. And look, your energy is on the bottom of the deck here with the Chariot. I feel like, Cancer, you're being guided here to say that you really need to move on from um, right thinking about this tower situation here. Okay, it could be around past situations. Um, it can be right with a particular person. Um, I'm going to say there is there is mutual feelings here. So whether this is someone right you just met, whether this is someone you knew in the past, and whether this is someone new coming into your life, it's showing me here the potential here of a relationship. It's showing a fresh start, but I'm also feeling like with this Ace of Swords here and the Four of Swords and this energy, I feel Cancer, you're need, you need to break free from, I feel, thinking about this, okay? I feel like you think a lot about like uh, things going wrong or maybe a past situation. It's almost like I feel like a self-sabotage energy. Uh, you have the Two of Cups and you have the King of Cups. So I feel there's love here, and I feel like the reason why you are indecisive here is because I feel there are past challenges that um, you're still thinking about. I feel like you're still thinking about the past, and you're thinking about, right, how that's going to affect things going forward. But I feel, Cancer, there's an opportunity here, okay? There's an opportunity for you and this person 
to uh, build something very nice here. And I feel like this person, right, with the make the effort is going to make the effort. I'm going to pull some Kipper cards and we're going to see what other energies we get here for you. So let's see what else Cancer needs to know. Now I'm going to say here too, with the Seven of Cups here, right, maybe, you know, this this could be somebody new and maybe there's some a past situation. You're still thinking about a past person. It's going to be different for everybody. So I'm, I feel here, Cancer, um, there's either a new person coming into your life or there is a... Um, someone you're already talking to. That's why they're saying keep an open mind. Okay, your soul may make differ from your usual type and expectations. Let's see what the Kipper cards have to say. Okay, interesting. You got family room. All right. Let's I'm not going to say anything till I pull more cards. We got distant horizons. Look at that. And we have courtship. Wow. You know what I get from there, Cancer? And look at that. You hit the jackpot there. Sudden wealth. <laughs> okay. I feel Cancer. It's almost like I feel like you've been through a lot when it comes to relationships. And now finally here somebody is putting in the effort. And I feel like you keep going back to a past situation that didn't work out. Or a difficult relationship that didn't work out is what I'm getting here, right? Or it just feels like you're thinking about, right, that it's almost like I said, a self-sabotage energy. But I feel like there is somebody here, right, that does uh, have love for you or has feelings for you or is interested in you. And this could be a life partner from what I'm seeing here in this energy, Cancer. So you have the family room, 21, which is 3. You have uh, distant horizons, 36, which is 9. And you have number 4, which is courtship. I feel like what this is saying is this is a situation um, I feel where things, you're going to feel very comfortable with this person. I feel also, too, with that distant horizons. Now, there could be some distance involved here, but I'm really getting with that. This is like telling you that there are really nice things to come, that I feel things are going to go smoothly with this person. I feel like things are going to be consistent. This is someone definitely who is going to make the effort, and I feel like this is a stable connection. This is also, too, I feel here somebody right, um, that you can bring home to your family, also getting the energy that you and this person may travel together. Uh, you and this person may do some traveling together, uh, either that or you two live uh, at a distance. But I feel like this is a really nice energy cancer, and I feel like the only thing here that um, is challenging, I feel, is possibly here you going back to past situations and thinking about what went wrong, okay? And just know that that's not going to be with everyone. As long as you're loving yourself first and doing what's best for you, Cancer, I feel like things are going to go great, okay? So I'm going to take it to the can uh, Cancer. I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. Over the next few weeks, I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.